Good morning, welcome at forexyestrading.com. We're gonna take a look what happened during last couple of weeks. Right now we're gonna also take a look what happened with our news coming out today. We got unemployment claims and in USA and that's pre pretty much it for today if we are talking about news coming out. Today is Thursday, uh, we got the middle of the month trading right now and right now at the left side we are looking at Euro dollar daily chart and pound dollar daily chart at the right side it is important to compare those two charts and let's focus at the left side of the screen which is euro dollar daily chart so we are talking about some bigger time frame and i was talking before like a week two weeks three weeks ago when this uh, beautiful flag occurred i was talking that uh, we got the uh, upper trend temporarily after the downtrend movement and if the market's gonna fall down from this flag when it's gonna break out uh, to the downside it's gonna be aggressively uh, made movement or it might be interesting for coming into the market anyway so somewhere around these levels uh, there was a market entrance and uh, with the stop loss above the pattern above this winning pattern why is this the winning pattern? I'm telling about this more in our other videos and Forex Online courses. Uh, it is one of the repeating uh, business pattern that occurs at the Forex and every other instruments. And we have like a much bigger chance to take a profit from this pattern when you imply it perfectly or when you imply it correctly at the market like for example at this case and the market was moving a little bit lower at some point we got the uh, big aggressive uptrend movement which was very confusing because of the uh, news coming out in eurozone and the market then started to fall down again and what i want to say about this this uh, this particular picture is at the daily chart right now for example and two days ago the market looks very interesting and at the 4 hour chart and 30 minute chart it didn't look so well like a daily chart so if you are looking at the daily chart and make a daily chart decisions you have to stick to this time frame because if you start to jump between daily 4 hour and 30 minute chart and try to compare them of course if you are an advanced trader it will be very helpful because you will get the information from the medium time frame at 4 hour chart right now what is happening here at the end of the chart comparing to daily chart but if you are jumping too much at those charts and try to get information and you are not very advanced uh, with the with the different time frames with the multi time frame trading it might be a little bit confusing because at the daily chart it might be very good situation to enter the market and at 4 hour chart it will be like 50% or 60% chance situation which, which isn't really good at the market so right now the euro dollar is pushing the price lower that's why pound is uh, finding those sellers as well because the dollar which is the main currency based on those two pairs uh, so please remember the pound isn't really uh, packed with those sellers as much as euro dollar so be cautious if you are entering this currency at the right side because uh, at some point when the uh, sellout is finished uh, the euro dollar uh, the pound dollar might be starting to grow again like it happened before with some more aggressive buyers so right now if we're going to take a look few t few if few uh, time frames at euro dollar chart at the daily chart it looks like this uh, we got the uh, sellers at the market that took profit that's this part of the chart and another sellers entering the market and what i was saying before that at four hour chart it looks like this we got the first small wave second one and third one and the market took a breath and the next movement to the downside is really small and next breath occurred uh, to um, next to each other which is not very good for the sellers at the market that means that market is slowing down here at those points like it happened here so the buyers may be taking over the market at some point but we got another sellers coming in but the question is how strong are these sellers if here we didn't have for some longer time these are four hour chart candles not five minute uh, time frame candles so uh, these 
uh, candles occurred in uh, one to three days uh, time frame and the sellers came in that's all right I'm gonna stick to the plan if the sellers are at the market you're gonna keep your short position or sometimes even enter the market but I also do know that if the market is slowing down and the sellers are coming in it might be a dump money movement I mean the less sellers coming in the market and then some bigger buyer will, will take them up uh, with uh, his strong position but right now coming back to the daily chart it looks like this uh, we got the first wave which is the first impulse well, we got the bigger breath uh, this beautiful flag that was a winning pattern and we got the second strong impulse which might be shorter than first one the same it could be the same or it, w uh, it might be the same or a little bit longer so uh, we got some perspective for this bigger movement we should uh, try to find some support resistance uh, especially if we squeeze this uh, daily chart we see very important support resistance occur right here when we are right now at this point so be cautious because this kind of support resistance needs a strong sellers to go through and the next support resistance will be somewhere over there probably right so uh, be cautious that this kind of a movement this kind of uh, selling market needs a strong sellers because we got strong support resistance so don't forget about it that not any movement will give us a success then we need a strong movement to keep continuing falling down but I'm not one of those traders that are always saying that the market is oversold I'm just uh, keeping to uh, keeping my trades until uh, the market's gonna go rapidly higher or uh, will do uh, this kind of movement like I showed you around here and started to move like a dome and and make a circle and go aggressively higher then we can um, uh, close those uh, short trades and maybe think about some buying or not so you could wait for another sellers coming in the market again so let's take a look at S&P 500 here we got a beautiful flag as well but it is a different kind of flag that we are uh, looking at the uh, daily uh, euro dollar chart because here environment is very uh, selling environment and this flag occurred in a downtrend and at S&P 500 well it is a different instruments we got more sellers here at stock and indices so it is very different this is a pro uptrend instruments so uh, we are talking about mostly buyers and mostly people looking uh, into the buying at this market and here uh, we got some buyers we got some sellers but I see the hesitation so these movements as aren't really too strong uh, aren't really stable like it happened before when we got buyers 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 small candles but a lot of buyers each time each day here it is very different so I'm afraid the market isn't uh, looking for new highs especially we got some uh, support resistance much higher than right now and the market is having problem with getting there not saying with breaking out to the upside but again I'm not <laughs> one of those traders who will say that the market will fall down because this is a pro uptrend instrument so mostly people are looking into the buying at this instruments uh, I'm talking more about this at different forex co courses different analysis as well why is it happening like this but if the market started to go rapidly lower if the sellers will hit the market aggressively and they are sometimes moving very fast like here or here before we might be interesting when the big red candle occur uh, we might be interesting with uh, taking the sell position at some point and see what happens if the next sellers will come up to break those support resistance but right now it didn't happen so it is not the story that we are trying to predict it is a some uh, story that might be happening or not so uh, be cautious with this kind of thinking uh, because mostly we're looking here for a buying position so uh, the best way to enter this kind of market is to look uh, for the chance of market going lower and starting to grow aggressively when the buyers are taking over the market right uh, right another time and and to make some space for another long uh, trade with uh, with buying position so uh, if we're gonna take a look at the oil 
we see here that we got some uh, buyers at 88 90 dollars and and the buyers uh, took over the market for about 10 dollars and right now they are taking the profits from this wave that's why the market was moving a little bit lower and probably we got another buyers at the market uh, so we see what's going to happen so be cautious with any st uh, strong uh, selling points or any s s selling positions because right now this market looks like it is having uh, some kind of uh, uptrend medium or maybe long term we'll see about that gold might be interesting I al already marked uh, what might be happening what m what kind of behavior might be interesting at gold when the uh, breakout occurs uh, do not enter the uh, first moment when the breakout occurs wait until the sellers uh, stabilize the situation there are no interesting uh, buyers at the market no strong buyers and sellers again then we can think about entering the market somewhere around here and it might be a very short action like a day or two or a few days or a few hours we'll see about that because this market gold is mostly about buyers as well so be cautious about the selling uh, selling short uh, selling position be cautious about that uh, please keep in mind that this instrument is mostly about people want to buy and keep that long time so uh, this will be probably it for now I hope you to see some more interesting videos more interesting analysis and uh, day trading long-term trading examples and if it's really interesting for you I hope to see you at uh, Forex online courses live courses and um, when we show exactly winning patterns how to use them how to use uh, the profit points how to use the stop loss when exactly enter the market in which environment at which instruments at what patterns are the winning ones that are repeatedly seen at the market and they are working like 70 80 85 five percent of success each time so thank you very much for listening hope you great hope you have a great week and next weekend as well thank you